to everyone. Today's presentation is on a procedure in root canal treatment, which is a small procedure between the preparation disinfection and obturation, a small vital link which plays an important role in the final outcome of obturation, the drying of root canals. I'm often asked how to dry the root canals, how much to dry the root canals, and how do we know they are ready, they are dry and ready for obturation. I hope this video answers all the queries. Drying the canal with paper points before obturation. The pulp chamber is initially dried with a cotton pellet. This ensures that major amount of moisture present within the pulp chamber is eliminated. Subsequently, aspiration and applying back pressure with the syringe which is used for irrigation helps in significantly reducing the amount of moisture within the canal, following which further drying is achieved with the help of paper points. At this point, I would like to mention that a final rinse with isopropyl alcohol is highly recommended due to its high evaporation rate. This reduces the paper point usage. Subsequently, you will aspirate or apply back pressure with the same syringe to ensure elimination of major amount of moisture. This is followed with the actual drying with paper points. The standard recommendations suggest using large paper points to soak up or absorb maximum moisture from within the canals. You will notice that moisture is generally demonstrated mostly at the apical stop and at the apical third of the canal wall. After there is visible drying of the canal, which can be confirmed with the help of your paper point, one can further use two to three paper points to ensure complete drying of the root canal. paper points per root canal after you feel that the apical third of the canal is also dry. I would also recommend placing the paper point inside the canal Till you actually begin the process of obturation. Hence, remove the paper point right before obturating the root canal. This will ensure sufficient drying of the canals and good flow of the sealer and also ensure that the gutta percha reaches the full working length. 